now we, we pop this so we see where his army is. Have you ever wanted to tap into the high level players and extract the essential tips and tricks to get better at playing a sieve? Well, sit back and relax because I take on the challenge to do just that. Welcome to the Masterclass series. Let's do this. Welcome everyone to another interview and this is another Masterclass with the Aztecs and I have Oliveza here to my right and we are going to be running through some of the crucial questions that will hopefully help you get better at the civilization. It's a very niche sieve, it's not used too much and I'm hoping that Oliveza here can provide some great insight. But before we get into that, before we get into the juicy stuff, do you want to introduce yourself Oliveza, just a bit of background about yourself and Age of Empires 3? Yeah, sure thing. Yeah, thanks Vigi for the invite. Hello guys, uh, I'm Oliveza. I'm uh, 25 years old, uh, currently living in Munich, Germany, and I'm studying economics. And uh, I've been playing Edge of Empires 3 since 2005, when my dad first introduced me to it. And uh, I've been sticking with it ever since, on and off a little bit, but for the most part I've been, uh, been enjoying the game a lot. About uh, the history of me playing Edge of Empires, so my dad introduced me to it, as I said, and uh, in 2005 I was like, what, seven years old and I played in the holidays, I can recall that, on the laptop of my dad, uh, who had his work laptop with him, and there was Edge of Empires 3 on it, and I played 2v2 against like moderate AI, and it took me like 10 hours to beat, but it was really fun, and ever since I've, I've been playing the game, you know, and uh, the first time I, I really started playing Edge of Empires 3 was 2009 and then I was only playing campaign and uh, offline like I think everyone in the beginning does that and then I started playing online uh, in 2011 I think mm -hmm. and uh, yeah until 2013 and I reached first lieutenant I think and uh, I was I won I won uh, auto one trick you know only playing auto because it's really easy you don't have to queue wheels and stuff Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> the classic, exactly, you know it. Like, I was I was super shit, but I could do one build order with Otto, which was Gen Abus, and uh, that's that's about it. That nice. can only... <laughs> still yeah, yeah. still strong today, the Gen Abus, yeah, just, still strong that's, today. That's true. <laughs> stronger uh, than ever, actually, stronger than ever. Fantastic. So before we get into the juicy bits with Aztec specifically, what's one kind of tip that you've maybe taken on board since playing the game that has just improved you immensely? It doesn't have to be specific to Aztec, just across the board. What one tip could you share with any kind of skilled player? I mean, what what's a huge factor in my opinion is game knowledge. A lot of people, they are talking about macro and micro and how important it is. Of course, it's very important, don't get me wrong. But game knowledge is a big factor, especially in Age of Empires 3, I think. Because the game is so complex, you know, there's so many things you, you need to think about, like all the all the net tags and stuff. Like, that's a, that's a good example. Like, most of the, even the pro players, most of them don't get net tags. And uh, those can be quite huge, especially in the late game. For example, there's like, I think it's the Sufis. There's a net tag that gives you like fattened goats, one per three minute of game time or something. Jesus. And if you get that at the, at the 20 or 30 minute mark, it's it's really a huge boost to your economy, right? Mm -hmm. You're you're basically almost out of funds and you, you can delay your mills by, by, yeah. by quite a lot and get out a huge power spike and win the game right there and then. I mean, the only one that I really know, I'm quite bad for this as well, actually. Yeah, I don't know a lot of the native techs, but the one is the classic, the Cree. The, uh, the the Cree native, mm. which has got the CDBs, yeah. it's got the Cree trackers, and it's got good text in it as well. But um, yeah, especially with the new Africa maps as well, there's some, yeah, yeah. and also the royal houses as well, like the, the, the Vasa one that's kind of insane, like those big buttons that you can get over time. So yeah, there's definitely a lot to learn, and it can be a bit overwhelming for players. But yeah, I, I, guess, I guess always just have a look at the native TPs. The minute you start the game, yeah. when you pass them over, have a quick look, see if they can help you out. 
So um, yeah. going into the three tips with Aztec, then, do you want to do you want to kick off with your your first sort of tip advice for playing as Aztec? Yeah, sure thing. Um, so my first tip would be that you really, really, what, what's super important is the hero micro in H1, especially in H1. So the the Aztec hero is very special. There is, he's one of a kind, right? The Europe ones are all the same but the Aztec one he has a melee attack and he can convert guardians and that's super important you always want to convert guardians and so you get your little pokemon army in h1 you know i yeah. like to call it that yeah, that's, that's a good, <laughs> that's good <yeah>. energy <laughs> exactly and like you can get like up to four four outlaws uh, you can convert in h1 you have, you have a little army you can chase down the enemy hero and also what's super important, I think, is getting the big button tag from the fire pit. So you get double the XP and uh, you what, what you want to do is you don't want to last hit with your hero. You want to last hit with another unit. So you have your Eagle Scout and you always want to last hit with the Eagle Scout or with Outlaws if you converted one. Then you get, uh, you get uh, double XP from the get-go, but if you get the big button tag, you get triple XP, right? And th this will boost your H1 by by a ton, right? It's like even more XP than you would get from one TP. And it's it's super important. It's it's so like, so. Do you actually get that big button before you get into H two? Sometimes. Yeah. Really. Yeah, okay. I mean, All right. It it can depend on the map. There are different yeah. uh, playstyles. There's also some playstyles where you want to go for the TP and you don't want to build the fire pit actually, and you run around with your uh, warrior priest and mm. heal the hero back up so it never dies. That's yeah. also a strategy. But for me, with the new maps, there are so many treasures, so many guardians to convert. I always go for fire pit for the big button. So you get a 50 coin in the beginning, you get the big button instantly, and then you get a shit ton of XP. It's, it's insane. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. That's fantastic. It can give you some insane tempo straight off the bat, and you're already queuing yeah. up, stacking up loads of cards to get ready into H2. Um, what about the second tip then that you can offer to the masses for Aztec? Yeah, the, the second tip is also actually about the fire pit, which is you should, in my opinion at least, you should have a hotkey for the fire pit. The fire pit is super important. It's it's like one of those uh, buildings only the native civs have, right? And especially for Aztec with the warrior priest dancing, you, you will always have the fire pit working. For for other civs, you, you might want to dance with Vils and t take them off uh, to gather some resources. But for Aztec, you always have fire, uh, warrior priest dancing you. So... Uh, you always want to switch out the the different uh... the different dances. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah, yeah, you want to yeah. switch between them. Yeah, you want to alternate between depending on what you're doing, whether you're about to rush, switch that to the attack dance. Exactly. Um, exactly. I've, I've seen that you you use the fertility quite early as well, or you use it just a little bit to get your batch yeah. out that quick, that little bit quicker early on, which yeah. is which is a lot. It's that extra APM. I don't know if I'm ready to, to, to make to remember to do that. I tend to stick it on XP and then if I need it on attack dance, I tend to be XP and attack dance. That's kind of me most of the time. But yeah, if you if you yeah. get it on hotkey, I guess you can you can switch between other ones quite quickly as yeah. well. I think what improved my Aztec gameplay a lot is is, is uh, hotkeying the fire pit, right? Because yeah, yeah. then you can it's it's just muscle memory, you know. You you hotkey it, you you press the the dance you want, and then you get your units out just like 15 seconds earlier, and you get a, a better power spike, right? Or if yeah. he pushes you, you can get that extra amount of uh, like five pumas just to hold the push or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's that's fantastic. So, yeah, that's a, that's a great tip. Yeah. Um, so moving on to the final one then for Aztec, uh, what have you got for us? Yeah, so Aztec, also one of those serfs that have very, very specialized units, right? So you have like the Slinger, which counters the heavy infantry. You have the Pu Puma Spearman, which counters the cavalry. And you have the Coyote, which count, which is like a calf unit, which counters light infantry for H2. And for H3, it's the same, right? You have very, very specialized units and you really want to use those units against the right targets. 
So, microing is actually very important for Aztec. You always want to have the right units on the right target. If you just uh, right click or Z move or something, then you will never win a fight, right? Or you will you will maybe win the fight, but it's not convincing enough. You, yeah, so you it's, really not, wanna... it's not going to be like China, uh, where yeah, you yeah, simply yeah. just pile it all in and uh, yeah. it seems to work itself out. Uh, that wouldn't be the case with Aztec. Exactly, exactly. You, you really want to micro that and you always want to have the hero alive so you get the extra extra uh, XP, right? So, yeah, yeah. so that's if a the hero dies, well. for example, you want to switch to the on the fight to the hero dance, so he gets back up again, so you get the extra XP. Um, so uh, a little bonus question that I like to do and drop in is, what is your favorite or meme build? So one you kind of like to have <laughs> a lot of fun with, not necessarily like the the meta, the, the strongest, but one you like to just play around with and, and have fun with. So I think for Aztec, for me, there are lots of nice builds, but the most meme one and the most fun one, 100% uh, would be the the Diaruga Spin to Win FI, right? The Skull Knight FI. Yeah. Um, it's it's a build order, I think, from from Bonang or somebody way, way back, and I think Diaruga was the one who, who popularized it. I saw it first time in action, I think, when he played in some tourney against uh, Kaiser Klein, I think. And he just uh, go, goes to FI with Aztec and spams uh, Skull Knights and Slingers, uh, Guard Slingers. And it's it's super insane. Like, if you don't expect it, it's, it's so strong. It, so, it recently... so with the, yeah, so with the spin, with the spinning of the, of the, is there a specific card that you need to enable your Explorer to get so powerful and, and be able to do those spinning attacks? Yeah, there's like a card in H3 which is called Smoking Mirrors. It's for the Explorer and he gets a Swashburglar attack, I think it's called. Yeah. So you can with that one and also with the with the H up for the for the uh, hero, you can actually one shot uh, artillery for example. Two Fargs, you just one shot them. You run in, one shot them. That's it's crazy. it's really insane. Yeah, yeah. But recently the the build got kind of nerfed because the hero can't go in cover mode anymore. So mm -hmm. it might be a little worse, but on the other hand, you also have the, the new and better cards for the upgrades, right? You have the 500 coin card for, for the Slingers, and I think also the Skull Knight card got got a little discounted, uh, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. So I'm not sure, maybe the build order is better now, it might be worse. You have to try it out yourself. Yeah, I and as you, as, you say, the... as you say, it's like a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a fun build as well so yeah. it's not all about yeah. it's not something that you if you want to really climb up the ladder it might not be the best one to go for but if you want to try something a bit off the wall uh, a little bit different then it, it could be that one yeah exactly exactly it's like that i can also send you a link if you want for the diaruga video it's really good actually yeah yeah i'll make sure to yeah yeah i'll make sure to drop it down in the description below so you guys can check that out i will also might have uh, a few sort of highlights of that build um and obviously you know courtesy to age of streaming uh where the channel where the video actually came from so you guys can also check that out in action as well but no that's pretty much it i just sort of want to wrap it up there and just as i say really just thank you uh Oliver for for coming on we had a bit of a technical issue at the start and um, we had to kind of restart but i i appreciate you taking some time out to, to chat with me especially you know i'm all the way down 1300 elo ish uh, as harrison calls the 1300 elo gatekeeper that is me at the moment but we're gonna we're gonna get higher up there don't worry we'll, we'll play aztec we'll play lakota and uh, we'll definitely get higher up but all i've got to say is uh Oliveza, thanks very much man uh, for your time i really appreciate it yeah thank uh, thank you also no problem at all it was really fun thank you for doing that it's actually really nice to see someone uh, producing such high quality content for the community yeah keep keep, keep on going that's, that's all i can say <laughs> i'll do my best cheers appreciate it